Welcome to Guitar Basics 1. So first we're going to look at guitar parts. So here we have an electric guitar, but uh, the parts, the main parts will be the same for, for most guitars. So up here we've got the head of the guitar and we've got the tuning pegs which are on the head. So we use the tuning pegs to tune the strings that are on the guitar. Down here the long part is the neck and then we have frets. Get used to remembering the word frets because they're a very common part and we need to know them. But the frets are these faint lines that go across the neck. But to keep it simple we're going to call the areas between the lines we're going to call them frets. So up here, just after the, the head of the guitar, you've got the first fret. The next area space, we've got the second fret. Where that dot is, we've got the third fret, then fourth fret and fifth fret, where that second dot is there. And the dots will be in different places for uh, for acoustic and classical as well or a special especially a classical guitar um, but those dots are a guide to what fret you're on basically so remember frets are the spaces going in between these lines and down here we have the body of the guitar they'll look different on different guitars but generally that's the, called the body, the main part of the guitar. Then we come down here to fingers and it says fingers are numbered one to four. Thumb is referred to as T. Okay, so there's T for thumb. We don't use the thumb too much. Um, we mainly use the fingers one, two, three, four. So Finger one is always the finger closest to the thumb. It's the pointer finger. Then we've got the second finger being the middle finger. Uh, the third finger is the ring finger. And the fourth finger is the pinky. But the most common finger we use is the first finger, which is the one closest to the thumb. Okay. So then we're going to come up here and look at the musical alphabet. So it reads, we use A, B, C, D, E, F, and G to name music notes. To help remember, we will use the following associations. So here we've got different associations, objects or animals to represent the different numbers of the musical alphabet. Don't have to worry about that too much at the moment. Um, the main thing is just remembering the seven notes A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So after the G, if we go one step higher, there's no H note. We simply start at A again and it repeats over and over again. So it would go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, back to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, no matter how higher or lower. We always use these seven notes. Going down here, we have the string numbers. The thickest string is string six, and the thinnest string is string one. Okay, and here we have the head of the guitar. We've got the tuning pegs. And down here on the neck, that's the top of the neck, we have the strings. So here on the left side we have the sixth string and they go down to the fifth, fourth, third, second and first string. And remember the sixth string is at the top and the first string is down the bottom. The sixth string is the thickest string the first string is the thinnest string. Now each string also has a letter. And from this thickest string, 
we have E, and then going down the strings, we have A, D, G, B, and E. And we'll remember more as we go along, but if you are holding your guitar in the uh, upright normal position, then this string would be at the top, the sixth string, which is also the E string, and this string would be at the bottom, being the first string and an E string as well. And we'll look at that at a later stage as well, and it'll make sense, but this is just a brief introduction to guitar bass.